This is a public service announcement. Hey, my name is Mike Flowers and I'm here to talk about prejudice. Prejudice is not cool. It's almost the end of the world. It's 2012 right now. It's December 5th right now. It means we've got 16 more days until the world ends. So before the world ends, I need the prejudice to come to a stop, especially against my people. My people have been been, pre been facing all kinds of prejudices since probably since before sundials. I mean, look at popular culture. Where where are we? Where we're not the butt of jokes, and we're not characterized as the buffoon or some token genius to make it seem like we're sometimes okay, you know, sometimes brilliant or overabundantly brilliant or something. Now, people are gonna get this the wrong way. When I talk about my people, I'm talking about people who wear glasses. I mean, look at TV. Name one character on a TV show who wears glasses and wasn't a spaz or some freaking genius. Like, starting off with childhood, too. Growing up, I watched The Rugrats and the red-haired kid, Chucky Fenster, he was scared of his own shadow. He wasn't scared of his shadow when he took his glasses off. Velma, wasn't scared. Velma from Scooby-Doo wasn't scared of nothing when she took her glasses off. She was just so dependent on her glasses to see anything. That's wrong. It's messed up and the TV needs to stop it. Think about Urkel too. Oh, so you're telling me that Dude was a spaz and whatnot, but he looked just like Stefan, but he was ugly just because he put them glasses on. That's messed up, yo. That's messed up. So all I gotta, all I gotta say is it's 2012, near the end of the world, and we need to stop with the hate crimes, yo. Black people with glasses are regular people too. Regular people. Hold up, I didn't take these off so I can cry right. Hold up, hold up. Regular people.